In this video, I'm going to share a neat trick to make your life easier when you're sharing Google Drive folders with your students. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on the Google Drive app. I'm now in my Google Drive. In this case over here, what I'd like to do is I'd like to publicly share my folder named Videos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on the little I icon over here. And next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Get Link. I've now copied the link address into my iPad's clipboard. Next, what I want to do is exit out of the app. And I'm going to go open up Safari. And I'm going to go over to a site named tinyurl.com. Now, at first glance, tinyurl.com might look a little spammy with all these ads all over the place. Trust me, it's safe to use and it works great. So what I want to do is I want to tap in this box over here where it says enter a long URL to make tiny. So I'm going to zoom up and I'm going to tap and hold my finger and I'm going to choose paste. I've now pasted in that very long URL for my Google Drive folder. In the box below, I want to give it a custom alias, something easy for my students to type in order to arrive at that folder. Once I choose my custom alias, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Make Tiny URL. So what was the point of all that? Well, before, if my students wanted to reach my Google Drive folder, they actually had to type in this very long, complicated address. By using the Tiny URL website, all my students need to do is type in the little address over here. Once they do that, it will automatically redirect them into my Google Drive folder. Let's try it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this address over here, copy it, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste it into the address bar. You can do this on a computer, on an iPad, it doesn't matter, and if I click on Go, there you go, my students have now arrived in my Google Drive folder.